St James's Church Line Cross Road. Uh, a lot of people coming down from McGill would come this way, down Line Cross Road, right along the roundabout, and right now at the start of the wee bridge that took you from Line Cross Road across to Brockburn Road is now uh, what they term as an LRT. It's a local repair team. And it's built just at the start of the Wee Green Bridge that took you over from Line Cross straight over to Brockburn Road. And right now, because the sun's in my eyes, I'm just hoping I've got it all in. It's the side entrance of the school. The bit nearest was the girls' door, further away was the boys' entrance. Uh, all the corridors along that way. Uh, the classes looked just been talking now and this is the geography corridor that I'm looking at. Going right round to the right is where all the science, domestic science, technical classes, uh, sewing and we actually got a real house in there where the girls used to do housework and learn housewifery. This is a new extension just here uh, on the Line Cross Road side. That was never ever there in the 60s. Uh, it's now used as an English extension, or was, when the school was still open. Now moved up to the other end of Line Cross Road, and we're at Line Cross Road near the shop, looking back down along the school, right down to St James's Church. Running right round now, and the castle and the castle grounds to the right of the school when you're on Line Cross Road. Bring it close and show the cart. Used to be sixpence to get into the castle, but I believe you can get still get in and get into the grounds now without any money, no payment. The bee house is still there with someone caretaking, but there's no actual fences around the castle as there was in the older days. And just beyond the fence here is the uh, river cat. Right now there's actually people up on top of the castle. When we get round the other side onto Brockburn Road, I'll need to have a look and see just exactly what's what and how they've gained access to it. Now on Brockburn Road, looking back at the castle. Uh, lost sight of the people that were in it now, even though it's only taken us a couple of minutes to drive round. It's turned out a gorgeous day now. And I'm now going right round. The wee houses were here on the left hand side of the road in the 60s. But it's all new persimmon property that's on the right hand side now, just been built. All the tenements have been demolished. And it's all detached and semi-detached housing that is now going up. You look straight up Brockburn Road and the school is just exactly there in the middle of the picture. Heading off up now and hoping the janitor remembers that we're coming up to do some filming it actually in the school. Right outside the school now at the front door. Everything's all boarded up. Uh, janitors are still 
on duty. Schools closed for the Easter holidays. The pupils will come back and get the results of the exams that they were taking just the other week. And then officially closes in June. Although they say three years ago when the last of the first years went up to Penalee, they termed the school officially closed three years ago. It's the old dining hall I'm looking at now. And it was a Mr McChesney that was a janitor, the janitor's house attached. Mr McChesney was the janitor for the years that we were here in the 60s. Now looking along to the right from Brockburn Road and upper floor was the commercial rooms where we learned bookkeeping and typing and below was the music room, Miss Swanson's and the other janitor's house at the far end of the school. Elmer and Neil Posen. This is us in the dining hall. And the janitor's just informed us there that everybody pays cash. Uh, apart from the ones that have got free dinners, they have now got tickets that we hand in every day. But there's no such thing as dinner tickets now. You pay cash as you go. And it's £1.10. In our day, it was four and nineteens, four and seventens, and three and elevenths, depending how many in your family. If you had brothers and sisters, then you were the cheapest at three and a limpens per ticket. Calculations won't let me get that into real money, as nowadays. But it's really not changed much. Get around for the other side now. Back right round. And the main doors. <coughs> Typical menu and prices. There was no way we'd ever get tea and coffee served. Would you just please? Here is two students, typical students of Crookston Castle School, <laughs> complaining about their dinners. Prepare the ice cream van outside. Stadium castles. <laughs> Now in the main assembly hall, this is the weirdest feeling and we're looking at the school ducks board. This is the weirdest feeling out. Oh jeez oh. Hopefully the camera's picking up all the names. Oh, 
1966. Our school captains on this side. A few names I recognise there. At the back, looking all the way down to the stage. You can remember Chaz M. Boyle addressing us all when we did a school assembly. It's really remarkable that the floor and everything still looks the same. It's in great condition. I work in Shawlands Primary and the gym hall has never been kept as good as this. Yeah. It is the weirdest feeling out being back in here after almost 30 odd years. The janitor has very kindly left doors open and given us full access to everything. It's been great. The lectern. This is brilliant. Absolutely fantastic. It gets quite emotional. Oh, the years that have passed and the friendships that were made here and the school dances and oh, we're dancing to Beatles music and everything at school discos. The old Joanna. School pianos never change. You know, the, the, the kind of bookcase sort of thing that the, the, the old metal she used to be in. She's taking a video on that just now. Oh, sorry, I'm getting told to shut up. I never knew you had a favourite from here. I know you did get one. Right, I'll speak to you later then. Now looking out at the playground, at the square, uh, loads of graffiti on walls over here now. That was never ever allowed in our day. Definitely never have been allowed. Chaz and Boy would have a lot of us over the coals for that. Now right above the dining hall and this is where the school library used to be. And it is now a computer room. It all just looks the same. I don't think there's been any massive decoration done or alterations in any way in all of these years. Again, back to the top of the staircase and looking out over the playground. This is us on the commercial which now goes under office studies and then right round and in the background that is us looking across Lion Cross Road straight over and that is the woods that took you between Baden Beth Road and Dorman Side Road uh, the water tank's still in there Someone. it is still there eh? behind McGill School at the other end of the school now, still on the home economics corridor, looking over to the pensioners' flats. They've all been renovated. Again, this is all business studies in this corridor now. Uh, if, I, if you walk straight on, it takes you back down. That's the road back down to the Green Bridge on Brockburn Road, where these pensioners' flats are. Can't get all the doors to stay open, but this is us on the maths corridor, looking straight down. And it's amazing just thinking how long it all is, it's just to get an idea of the length. But this is floor one where all the maths are done. And one on one is what? Uh, uh, Crooky people, can't add up. Looking from the maths corridor out to the castle, just visible between the trees. Still people up on the roof. 
definitely investigate that and alleviate. Now we're just remembering teachers on this corridor. Uh, one at the very, very end, just at these doors up here, was Miss Latham. Always, always wore her cape and the belt was down inside. It's not that us girls ever needed the belt. Well, not often anyway. Uh, Ma Campbell. Just different names spring to mind as you walk along this corridor. This corridor with various posters on the wall. I'm just going to have a scan across them. It's old newspapers. Again, it just epitomises the difference. We never ever had things like this in the 60s outside classrooms. Is this used for history now? Mr. Boy's history. Mm, obviously the corridors are all different subjects now to, from our date. James Bond next to Edward. Hmm. Makes interesting reading. And the untouchables. Uh, somebody a Sean Connery fan. That Edward even looks like Sean Connery. Uh, I used to slide down this banister. This is a girl's staircase. And on duty at nine o'clock after the second bell. You get the warning bell at five to nine, the nine o'clock bell. Miss Lethem would be on duty at this staircase and we'll be tied anybody that came in after that second bell. Mm -hmm. But we'll be tied anybody caught sliding down these banister rails. Mm -hmm. Just the ones. <laughs> Getting the belt from Miss Lethem once was enough. Just listening to the voices echoing. It is really quite eerie to think. Echoes of the, the past. I was thinking echoes of the past and the ghosts of former pupils. <laughs> Those from the staircase back again to St James's Church. It's funny how eventually whenever you go around anywhere you come back and, and view at St James's Church. The pillar of society here. Looking right across Lion Cross Road. Going along and taking us up to Craft Road. Number 50 bus route, which is now the number 3 bus route. The Green Bridge. The place is all peeling. Lots of places now where the paint's peeling off. I think the old ladies need some plastic surgery. Just like the pupils of our era. This is views we never ever noticed before when we were up here. It is lovely looking over at the hills. And that's the tower at Leverndale over that way. Again, swinging round and the castle comes back into view. Back over to the hills. That's the old Kilpatrick Hills, I think. I'm on the geography corner, <laughs> the geography was never my strong point. Uh, looking over now to the gym halls below and back we on to the science corridor. On the top floor now and looking right along the full length of this corridor, it's the, uh, well it was the geography corridor in our day, uh, Mr Mackay, Aka, big plug. Mr. Spears, English. Oh, what a man he was. 
as girls were not taking their Mr. Spears. We used to call them a dome in those days. My. We are now on the gymnasium corridor. And on the left, as I go round, is the gym teacher's staff room. The number of times we were sent along here to get keys for cupboards and we might Miss Beveridge, uh, Mrs. Simpson a lot. On the right hand side was the staircases leading up to the other classrooms for domestic science, down the way to technical, and then just the science classes. And that is the building that you can see through the window. Yep. Oh, history, eh? History corridor, top floor now. <laughs> from the gym corridor down into the woodwork and techie classes and it looks as though some things never change half made items on tables the door we into gymnasium too but uh, the janitor must have forgotten to unlock the gymnasiums hopefully when we get in one further along this says pupils no entry. Uh, wonder if that applies to us. Yeah, I better behave myself and not go any further. And then I'll put the art glasses. But we can only look through doors and the glass panels. And we don't remember puffing and panting back in the 60s, coming up a flight of stairs. And you're at the far end of the building. The castle's always in the view. Oh, this has just been oh, something that we'll never have the chance to do again. Try to come in so much. It is just so, so emotional at times. Still in the art corridor, just getting ready to leave there now and head off around the other side. Just go through the wee slit. It's just been quite, quite emotional. present day pictures of the pupils. Wonder if they'll feel the same as us. Present day pupils. Trying to zoom in a bit through this panel into the gym hall. I don't know if it's getting picked up or not. Just into the gym hall. Miss Swanson's music class. We always said that she was the first person that we ever knew as a Scottish nationalist. Always told us to say we spoke uh, broad Scots, singing broad Scots, and never say we were English. Always say we were Scottish. And just looking back on it, she must have been one of the first Scottish nationalists that I've ever known. Jet Jet Black here. Very slim woman. Yeah. Yeah, she taught us a lot. This side is the school office now and the reception area. Used to be the school office with the headmaster's office right next door. But it's also a change now. 
the headmaster's now on the left of this corridor and through the doors is where the music room with Miss Swinson's class was. But all of this has changed. Uh, used to have the nurses' quarters that if you felt ill and you wanted to go home, you came down this bit to see the school nurse and she would say whether you could get going home or not. But, and this is where I remember lining up here for my BCG. Uh, uh, this side's changed as well because these archways and things weren't there at the time. That's about us just finishing off now. We're back right round at the school office and heading back to go to the front doors. Um, we probably should have filmed this on the way in. But it's probably um, more fitting to film it on the way out. This is technically for us now, Crooks and Castles closing on this day, the 26th of March 2002. It'll probably be the last day we'll ever be in here as it's been used as a school. We've enjoyed the visit, very, very nostalgic. It's been good. And now it's goodbye. Never thought the day would come and I wouldn't want to leave school.